Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. We're going to go over to hiphollywood.com, and the article is by Jasmine Simpkins, and this is an update to the Timothy Nor Norman uh, murder for hire case. Timothy Norton is the son of Miss Robbie, who had a show on the Food Network. Um, uh, called Sweetie Pies, if you can remember about five years ago, and this is the update to that. Uh, Miss Robbie is standing by her son, James Timothy Norman. The former Welcome to Sweetie Pies star says she can't abandon Norman, who stands accused of conspiracy to have his nephew, Andre Montgomery, killed in a murder for hire plot nearly five years ago in a recent interview with KTBI where the former Ike and Tina backup singer was debuting a new song. The restaurant restaurantpreneur took a moment to speak on her son and uh, we're going to definitely get to this video really quick and um, we're going to continue with the commentary or the article so Robbie Montgomery, former star of Sweetie Pies, is debuting a new song right here in St. Louis this weekend. I spoke with the successful restaurateur and legendary singer about the challenges she's facing, being a role model, and her new music. Well, this is a song called Thinking About Cheating. It's something that most people are afraid to say, but I ain't scared. So I'm thinking about cheating on the man that I don't have. So... <laughs> Yeah, you know, my goal is, Shirley, to be the oldest female to get a Grammy. So I'm doing all these songs. Last year was Ain't My Stuff Good Enough. This year is I'm Thinking About Cheating. This is going to be an amazing concert at the Shelton. Yes. You have a very special guest. Yes. Another legend. Another legend, Lattimore, um, with, um, with, let's straighten it out. So I'm excited to be there. He's going to be the closing act. I'm just so excited to be opening for him, and I need everybody to come out and support your homegirl. Please, please, please. What keeps you going? Well, you know, I'm a people person, and every day I get up thinking what is going to be my next, you know, I'm trying to reinvent myself all the time. Because at my age, I don't know if I'll tell it, but I might somewhere along the line. At my age, you know, you want to keep doing things, and I'm just really happy and at a good place in my life where I can keep doing things, and I hope I inspire other ladies my age to get out and do that. I don't care if it's a lemonade stand. If it's yours, you're really inspired to get up every day and go do your job. So that's the way I am. I, I don't have any magic potion or nothing like that. But every day I look forward to the day. My aunt used to say, joy cometh in the morning. I never knew that, but now every day I'm looking for the morning because I can find something else to do. Yeah. yeah, and you've had some tough times, too. I've had tough times, and I'm still having them, but God is good. I, you know, they say he won't put no more on you than you can bear. I'm having, I'm going through it. My son is in trouble right now, but I'm his mother, and I don't know no more about it than you because I hear about it when you do. But I'm there for him to support. That's what mothers do. We're doing to death through us far, same as a marriage. So if something happens to your kid, you got to be there for him because you're their inspiration. And not that uh, what he's involved in was good or bad. I don't know. But that's my son. And I can't abandon him now. So I'm there for him. But then I, and tomorrow, you know what they say, you pay the light bill, the gas bill is due. So that's the way life is. And I appreciate it. Sweetie Pies was around for a long time yes. on the old network. What do you miss about doing the show? Well, the thing I miss about it was the the people coming from out of city to, you know, experience the Sweetie Pie experience. And in the line, I would go out there, hug and kiss the people. We still have those lines, but not like it was when the show was on. So I miss all of that. But I'm thankful for what I get. An evening of blues with Miss Robbie and Lattimore is this Okay, okay, okay. That is the end of it. Um, in regards to that uh, news thing, I, like I said, I will link the description to it in there. 
so you can check that out for yourself if you're in the st louis area um i guess check it out uh it says as it says in the uh, video she's had some tough times uh but god is good she told the news station echoing um the same sentiment presented when she uh when her son was arrested nearly two years ago my son is in trouble right now but i am his mother and i don't know no more to than you do you know basically just verbatim repeating what she said um as previously reported norman was accused of hiring 30 year old uh, travel hill to kill montgomery outside a st louis missouri apartment complex in 2016. hill was convicted of one count of conspiracy to commit murder for hire and another count of murder for hire to which he pleaded guilty earlier this month in federal court okay Norman wanted his nephew killed, according to the court documents, to obtain a $250,000 life insurance policy on his 20-year-old nephew, for which he was the sole beneficiary. Excuse me. Norman's trial is slated for sometime in September. His girlfriend, uh, T. Ellis, and insurance agent, W.R., why also has been charged in a 2016 episode of the own series newman and his mother miss robbie expressed their sadness over montgomery's death as they walked down the street where he was gunned down this unfortunately is not norman's first time in trouble with the law he spent 10 and a half years behind bars for armed robbery okay and that is the end of the article right there um just a little short article just to throw up on the on my channel and things like that i do want to make a correction i do apologize i said the in trouble right uh, now but i'm his mother network and um it's not the food network it is the own network so i want to make that distinction um you know just to be accurate but um like i said it really hasn't been really too much movement in far as this case um it's been pushed back pretty much due to appeals i'm assuming and um the current pandemic that you know has shaken the world so um the information is slow going as far as this case is concerned but as always, I will keep you updated. Um, actually, it was a lot of stuff going on. Um, like they reported in this article, he has had some uh, other legal issues that has been going on. Uh, speculations and rumors about him uh, as far as money and how he did business or whatever the case is. But like I said, allegedly, um, that's hearsay. Um but we'll find out if it comes up in the trial portion of it, which is slated for September sometime. Um, the date I'm unsure of, but as always, I will keep you updated. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching my video and I will talk to you in the next one.